I'm going to explain now how to use aggregated data functions data using the group functions so in this lesson we are going to discuss how to group rows in a table into smaller sets and how to specify such criteria for group of rows and also we focus on obtaining summary information such as average just for group of rows so what are the group functions Unlike single row functions, group functions operate on set of rows to give one digit per group. As I explained, single row functions or group functions also operate on single set of rows to give one digit per group. These sets may be whole table or table split into groups. Okay. So what are the different types of group functions? there are for example these are only few group functions so average count max minimum standard deviation some variance so what is average function what it does so average gives you average value of some average value of some volumes like let's say n so it average ignores the values null values and count gives the number of values max gives the maximum maximum value of expression and also it ignores null values minimum gives minimum value of expression and ignores null values standard deviation of n and some gives uh, some va values of n ignoring null values variance gives you variance of n ignoring Standard deviation variance are used in statistics. Average count, max, minimum, sum is a common group function that is used, that are used in Oracle. And all these group functions ignore nulls except count. When you when you when we use star, it takes rows including nulls and also duplicates. But when you use count column name or expression it gives only number of rows ignoring null values okay so the basic syntax of group function is select group function column name or expression column name comma column names you can write from table where condition order by column so this is the group function note all group functions ignore null values to substitute a value for null values we have to use nvl nvl2 or coalesce functions oracle server implicitly sort the result set in ascending order when using a group a class to override this default ordering describe can be used in a order by class So this is a one basic example. Um, okay, let me show you. Select average salary, comma max salary, comma. Minimum salary, comma, sum of salary from employees where job ID equal to is like sales representative equal to representative you can say so what in sales representative or in so this is average salary of sales rep representatives and this is a maximum salary of representative and this is minimum salary of representative and this is total sum of the all representatives 
we can use that mean you can use average max minimum sum functions on numerical data that means you can use all these functions against columns that can store numeric data the example of this slide displays the average highest lowest sum of the monthly salaries of all sales representatives okay so the one next topic is max minimum functions we can use this max minimum functions for any data type like numeric character date data types this example shows select minimum higher date max higher date from employees displays the most junior most senior employee so this example displays the last so you can apply now let's say here we applied on uh, date column so let me up let me use on last name field which is a character data type so that last maximum last name comma minimum last name from employees so this is a max last name and able minimum last name so we can apply max minimum functions on any data type like numeric character or date data types so count star our next topic is count 